The cardiorespiratory system is made up of two systems, the cardiovascular system and the respiratory system. The key function of this system as it relates to exercise is to one, get air from the outside of the body into the body and then distribute it to the cells, and two, get the waste product, which is the carbon dioxide, out. What we are dealing with then are the airways and the lungs which get the air in and out of the body and the heart and the blood vessels that pump the blood around our body. It is interesting to note that when we use the term fitness, we are actually making reference to how much oxygen your muscle cells can use. The technical name for this is called VO2, which stands for the volume of oxygen consumed. So when we are getting fitter, what is actually happening is that certain adaptations are occurring in our body, which make it easier for us to bring in more oxygen from the outside into our body, and then, of all of that total air ingested, we are able to use a greater percentage of it. We want our bodies to be able to use a greater percentage of its available oxygen, because that means more work can be done and greater energy produced. So what group of athletes do you think are the fittest ones on the planet? Rowers? Runners? Cyclists? If you thought of cross-country skiers, then you would be correct. Cross-country skiers train and perform at altitude where the air is thinner, and this provides a natural overload in their training, which therefore forces their body to become more efficient at utilising less oxygen. Couple that with the full body movements of the skiing and you have a very fit athlete.